Welcome boys and girls to a new series. This is gonna be a little mini series. I'm gonna do different types, but this is gonna be solo survival guy extinction edition. So I'm making this series for those people that are solo players that they want to play extinction and everybody's so adamant that extinction is a tribe a map that you shouldn't do solo and stuff like that. I'm here to tell you no, you could do it solo. It's just you're not gonna be able to do it big. You're gonna have to stay small and you're gonna have to stay hidden and like two by ones, one by ones, three by ones, whatever it is that you have to do. But during this little mini series, I'm gonna show you hiding spots. You could copy my build, you don't have to. You could do your own little setups and stuff like that. Now mind you, there are some spots in this series that I might not be able to show you because I am playing on official small tribes during this series. So you're not, there's probably taking as well as i'm gonna tell you guys um there's gonna be heavy editing into this series because i don't want people to know what server i am on i am playing on an alternate character and i don't want people to know where i am because then it will mess up the whole point of the series i want to survive in pvp and i want to show you guys that it, it, you could survive just as long as you stay hidden if i say if i even show any type of structure remember those small tribes there's not a lot of servers so we were going to be able to pinpoint and be like oh there's a trap right there oh i i remember that there was a trap on my server and then i would just get raided even though they're fans they find it funny to raid me so it messes up the series so just know that if there is a cut or anything like that it's because there was probably a structure nearby that i did not want people to see during the video now there will be an aberration version of this because i did put a voting uh, a voting poll up and you guys voted that you guys wanted me to do a survival guy of aberration aberration is the best solo map in my opinion but i will be doing that probably next week but for this week i'm going to be showing you the extinction version of the survival guide um it's only like a few episodes maybe five six episodes because like i said it's only to get started after like when you get to mid game end game that's up to you i usually just show you the early game that way you could just be able to find those spots that you could hide and everything but you know what enough of me talking let me just show you and get right into the video remember guys to like the video if you like it. remember to subscribe if you haven't remember to hit that notification button to join the notification squad i do try to post here monday through saturdays if at all possible if the video hasn't come out at three o'clock i will more than likely let you guys know if it's gonna come out late just like yesterday's video it was out late and that was due to technical difficulties but enough ranting let's get into the video the first thing you gotta do is put down a one by one or a two by one now you might be asking yourself if this freaking place is empty and i'm sure the reason why people just kind of cleared it out was due to the fact that like um maybe the pose lives were spawning or when they come here to farm element you know maybe that's why i'm surprised that they're even up i think it's because it's early in the morning and nobody's really online right now and that's what's going on dude i'm not gonna lie to you i'm loving these freaking oh my god dude these rates are freaking amazing i'm able to look at this all right we're gonna get up and running in no time at this point all right so we're gonna get ourselves some wood we got to get ourselves some freaking thatch we got to get ourselves a base and then i'll get the stuff ready for the base and then i'll come back to you guys in a second i'm on my own broken alone i feel the rain crashing down all around this empty town i'm searching for the lost and found but you don't care you're unaware keep moving like the scars aren't even there it's in the air, like a blazing flare Don't stare, cause the flames will burn us I thought you were the one for me That's why I gave you everything Held you close by the stormy seas Oh, you meant the world to me I used to kiss your head when you cried for me Hold your hand while the pain Okay, once we have everything we need, like stone, 16, uh, I didn't die over there. <clears throat> um, once we have everything we need, we got to find a place to place it down. Now, normally, 
I would tell you to place it like somewhere in the bushes, hiding and stuff like that. But due to the fact that this is a newbie spawn and a lot of newbies walk around here and everything. You also see the typical Pteranodon flying around, like somebody in a Pteranodon. Remember, everybody on that Pteranodon or Pterodon, or however you want to freaking call it, is an asshole. <laughs> there has not been one person that I haven't encountered that has a Terry and basically doesn't pick you or tries to barrel roll you. Especially on small tribes. Alright, so we're going to go over here and we need to find a spot to place down this base. Now, I know the perfect spot to place this so we're just gonna go this way and then I'll show you I guess I'll show you the map and the coordinates once we get there if you know extinction you know where this should be at this is exactly where me and sleepy had built up right there on that ledge that way is the snow biome um there's metal down this way that's usually my metal route and um we're gonna go up that way we want to go up that way later on we're gonna have to tame ourselves a gas bag and I'm gonna show you how to tame one really nice and quick because that's gonna be the best way for you to move around either a gas bag because they don't need a saddle or we could tame a tapage tapage would probably be the better option but you would need to tame a high level remember you are on times three gather and taming and XP so you definitely want to get the high level stuff because you could just regular meat tame them and they'll come out like really good high level all right so right here you're gonna come over here after you get on this ramp you want to stay away or steer away i should say from the metal spawns anything that there's metal nearby you don't want to be nearby it because you never know people ugh, metal is very scarce in this map remember that so if you are next to a metal gnome, that means people probably know about it and they're going to come farming and then you're screwed. You also want to stay far away from these things. The regular um, post lights. Because people go around farming for these things, so they really look for it. So you see right there, there's a metal spot right there. That would be perfect if there was not a lot of people around here. Remember, sometimes people also kite. I normally would find a base. And I would basically just raid it and then get on with my life and get metal tools and stuff like that. But I can't do that here because I'm trying to show you guys a solo guide. So if I do... Oh. Oh, shit. Oh, okay. I thought that was somebody on the tappy. It was just I scared the tappy away. I was like, bro, fuck. Did somebody find me already? Shit. All right. This is really shit. Like, scary, dude. Because... You're trying to hit the high ground too because not a lot of people, remember, if you the higher the ground, the better it is for you. That's why you need a flying mount right away. Or flying tame, I should say, right away. Also because um like the little like bobs around the freaking or the I guess they call them now the city bobs, no longer beach bobs. The city bobs that spawn around here are gonna try to like raid your shack by kiting like dinos and kiting corrupted dinos. It is really hard to kite corrupted dinos off like these ramps because they'll just aggro to everything. And then sometimes they'll just walk so slow, it's like you just you just give up. You're like, F this. I'm surprised there's nobody built up here. There's usually people built up here. So now, if you want to survive, remember, you want to stay in one by ones. This is going to be our first one by one. There's going to be also one in the snow. The snow is a little harder to hide because since everybody's looking for Ovis, everybody's looking for owls, and everybody's looking for the Managarm, Managarmer, whatever, the dragons, Falker looking things. Uh, it's really hard to hide <laughs> because they're gonna find your base whether you like it or not They're gonna find it because they're always all around there scouting waiting looking so your base is probably gonna be found All right, I'm trying to I know I'm just talking but I want to show you guys like the bearings basically on how to get to this spot In order for you guys to be able to be like, oh, okay, that's the way that I gotta go All right, we're still walking around here Oh boy, here goes spider. Fuck, dude, don't kill me. It's the only thing you gotta deal with, spiders. Bitches, leave me alone. Oh man, I hope my pipe doesn't break. Please don't break pipe. No, don't break. Leave me alone. Leave me alone, spider. Oh shit, another one. Two more. Damn it. Uh, that's the only thing. This is why people like to steer away from these 
um, heist too because of spiders. They're so annoying. They're not hard to kill as you can see, but they are annoying as hell. But this is a good source of chitin or chitin because this, remember, you need this in order to craft saddles, both the RG saddle, the owl saddle, the Managarma saddle, the freaking Tapaje saddle, all types of saddles. Oh, this one gave me arrows. Good stuff. We're going to need trank arrows. That's what we need to set up. Normally, people would just be like, oh, just go straight to the snow and do that. Yeah, but you want to at least have a flyer and at least a trap. All right. Now that we dealt with these pieces of shit spiders. All right. So, like I was saying, um... We're right here on the map. I guess you would say like the top. I, I just literally spawned it in the map. Remember that guy? So there's no map. But I guess it would be like the very top right. You know? But all right. So I did go out and I started farming some stuff in order for me to do it. But now I'm going to show you the location. I took a wrong turn. So that's why um I have a lot of trank arrows. Because when you kill spiders, you get trank arrows. You get... A bunch of spears and whatnot and it's also times two so it's amazing all right so you got to basically come up this way make sure to get berries because you're gonna need a lot of water I would even say go as far as getting a water skin because for the beginning part it's gonna be hot as shit if you could kill a lot of corrupted dinos and get a lot of those corrupted modules that would be even better because then you could just craft the ooh you could even just craft them um, gilly because you're gonna need gilly to stay alive around here what level is that? Oh, that's a 20 Tapaje. We might tame that. Hold on a second. Are the bolas going to work in this? There you go. They work. All right. I don't know if he's going to knock out with these. Oh, there you go. He knocked out. All right. This is actually a bad spot for him. All right. He's unconscious. Let's see, what is he going to do? Let's put some meat on him. Let's just put all this meat on him, honestly. It's not like we need it anyway. And we need to go build some tranks. Good thing is that their torpor is very high. So we're just going to leave him there like that. I forgot, we haven't even made a tribe. Alright, we're going to make a tribe in a second here. I mean, this kind of makes it obvious. <laughs> I named myself Solo Guide. Is that technically what it says right there? Yeah, tribe of Barbie. <laughs> that was it. All right, let's go this way. All right, so basically, we're going to come back for the step of J, but you're going to go up this way. Now, there is metal on your way up. So, I mean, I would say farm it because I have a forge already. And, I mean, you're going to have to get a metal pick as soon as possible in order to actually do anything on this freaking map at all. It sucks that this is not like Ragnarok, so it doesn't hold your hand. A lot of people like to say that this is more of a tribe map. I will agree with them. This is more of a tribe map, but it doesn't mean you can't solo it. Just know, like I said, don't get attached to tames. Don't get attached to things. And remember, you're never going to have a big, big base. There is a location where I'm thinking about building. It's very out of the way. And I think that you could actually like build something decent size. Maybe like a, um, a 4x4 there with turrets. Maybe. Let's see. Maybe we'll get to that part in this guide. Maybe not. Maybe we don't get wiped. This server is not very popular. Like I said, there is a lot of like, um, on a small tribes, a lot of people are just getting wiped constantly because people have titans in the map. Right now, I haven't seen a titan on the map. Is there a titan on the map? No, there was no titan on the map. All right. So that means nobody has tamed or pe people probably tamed my titan already and just took it to another server to raid. But yes, as of right now, there is no titan, so that's good. That means nobody's getting wiped. All right, so you're just going to come up this way. You're going to go through the zigzag right here. And then this is what I did before, but I took a wrong turn. When you get up here, instead of making a left, you're going to keep going straight. And you're going to see what I mean right here. Oh, boy, here we go. You're going to see a lot of spiders up here, which is going to be the best source of resources for you, like, as in regards to, like, meat and, like, Keratin or chitin. No, not keratin. Chitin. Because that's going to be the way that you're going to be able to um, craft some um, zip CP. You know, eventually you want to tame a snail. You know, in order to like feed him. But like, that's going to be a whole nother 
type thing in the future. But as of right now, we're just trying to find a location. We're trying to tame our first flyer in order for us to start going around the metal runs. And then I'll show you an easy way to tame a Dodic. An Anki will be the best bet for you to do. Because there's no point in you get an element or any element dust. Due to the fact that you don't have a replicator. So there's no point on that. Alright, so you're just going to keep going straight down this way. And you're going to get to the spot. It's going to be right here on our right. Alright, I'm just going to fast pace this. I mean, I was already on my way here and there's a tappy, so why not? The other one went down after four, I think it was. There you go. Oh, look at that one. That one's mad beautiful. Look at its color. Uh, why are you all the way down there, buddy? Level 50, all right, then whatever. We want to tame flyers right now because we want to get ahead of the game. All right, I would not say I would say don't put spikes up because you never know who could be about. The only time that I would say put spikes up is if you get them in a corner or anything of that sort. Oh, did he land? He did land, ah, but I only have four. All right, whatever. All right, let's continue. All right, and we're here where our base is going to be. It's very well hidden. There's not metal gnomes right here. There is metal gnomes nearby, but not right in this position. So it would be hard to find it. You could either place your base down here. The problem with... Oh, boy, here we go. Not right now. Little piece of shit. Oh, no, we got knocked out. All right, that's great. We're going to come back up. And this is why you need water skins. Because I was basically passing the fuck out. Alright. We just spawned. It was Sanctuary East. That's the spawning point. Alright. So. Oh man, that's not water. Alright. Let's just make our way up there. I should have crafted some sleeping bags. Guys, remember, don't do the same mistakes that I did. Craft some sleeping bags. That way you don't. Ooh. Craft some sleeping bags. That way if you do die, at least you can spawn in right away. Right, let's get up there quickly. Oh, look at that. He's almost tame. He's at 50%. I don't think I'm going to have to give him um, any... It is times 3 tame and remember that shit. So, these things tame out quick. Especially, like, low levels like him. Level 20. We do need a smithy if we want to actually put down uh, a saddle on him. We have a lot of keratin. We just need to get a lot of hide. The best way to get hide on this map, honestly, would probably be... um Go down there where you started this... Trying to make your way up. There is a lot of corrupted dinos tech on um, Rexes over there and everything. So what I would tell you is just kite those things to the dinosaurs. And those things would just kill the dinosaurs. And then after that, you just go ham with the axe. Or vice versa. You could just kite those the corrupted dinos. And then the trikes or whatever is out there will kill the corrupted dinos. And then you could just go ham on those things. Not only will you get high, but you would actually get other stuff. All right, so let's go. All right, we're back. We got our stuff. Let me see the sheet. All right, let's repair our stuff. Back to what I was saying. So you could either put your base right here. But honestly, I would say no, because if there's people flying by, they're going to see it. Just like a stone thing right here. Unless you want to, I don't know, want to get raided and stuff. But that's up to you. I would personally place my base right here. On this little ditch right here. As you can see, nobody's really going to spot it. And you'll technically will be safe. Just put it right here against the wall. So that's what we're going to do. We're just going to slap down a 2x2 two two right here. A 2x1 I should say. Alright, there we go. Now we're just going to... We're going to upgrade this eventually. But for starters, you want it to be small. Nothing crazy. Nothing too big. You know... Okay, for now, what we're going to do is that because this is times three rates, I would say just put some mortar and pestle right here. Nothing. There you go. And I would say put the forge right there. We could always break it down. 
we could always break down the forge after that because we're gonna have to place the um, the walls remember that so we could always break the forge down and i mean i would say save the ceiling but i mean we could always build another ceiling too all right so we want to put some metal in here we only need five we have 21 luckily so let's just burn this if you want to make a campfire i would say don't put it in here i mean you could but honestly i wouldn't put it in here if you ask why is because it's gonna show right away but i mean it is what it is all right let's start cranking some of these tranks or narcotics so let's go so now that we have our one by our two by one you see it's small it's not that noticeable it's hidden away try not to cook metal at night because you know it's gonna show but as you can see it's very hidden small you know not a lot of people pass by here if they do pass by here there's only one post light right here i mean like you just have to be unlucky because usually people when they're farming for element like it's very hard for them to pass by and even if they do they usually fly high and they try to get the light from up top because sometimes if you try to get in from the bottom it's very glitchy or the best thing you could do honestly would be this just harvest post lights just harvest the post lights out here that way you don't you know you don't come across the fact that they could just come around here and raid you oh man we need more wood all right never ever ever harvest the trees around here ever because if you do there goes your cover all right so we're just gonna go across from here and harvest that tree over there and if you're gonna harvest try not to harvest the whole thing oh here you go what's up you little bitch mm, oh man no no die oh shit all right we're gonna have to take go check on our tapa jays after this we need a smithy I think we have everything we need for a smithy, so we should be straight. Um, I think all we need is wood and hide. Alright, I'm just going to have to build the thatch foundation and place it right next to it. There you go. And then after that, I'm going to go and grab this. Oh, come on, dude. There you go. And then now I could place the freaking smithy. Oh wait, before that, what you want to do is that you want to place the stone foundation. Like so. That way you know your barons. Alright, then there you go. We're going to go. Smithy, and then, oh boy, we're going to pass out, aren't we? Alright, here. Alright, we're going to go orbital camera. There you go. We're, we want to be on the other side of these. So we at least want to be like... I want to say right right there that should be good we should be able to play there you go we should be able to place the thing all right let's break the stone foundation and then boom we're good to go all right all right let's break all of this let's break the ladder first demolish the ladder demolish this I'm gonna go inside let's Place the ceiling. What else do I need to craft that? Another forge. That way we could break this forge. Just stone. Okay. Alright, so what we're going to do is that we're going to grab this forge. We're going to break it. That should give me what I need in order to craft another forge. There it is. And then what we're going to do after we finish crafting that forge, we're going to place it really close to the smithy. Like so. There it is. That way we could come in here. We could place all this stuff in here. Alright, now I feel a little safer. Alright. We're good to go. All right, so now let's go check actually on our tappies. But before we check on our tappies, what I want to do is that I want to jump off this bridge and then spawn back in. I want to place a bed down. That's what I want to do. Can I place a bed down? What do I need in order to build the bed? I need more thatch. Okay. So let's go big the thatch. No, I mean, let's go get the thatch, I should say. You know, oh boy, that's a lot of spy. I think... What? The tappy that we knocked out over here woke up or did it freaking get eaten? 
They probably got eight. Damn it. Yeah, they probably ate it. Alright, so I don't know if the Tappy woke up or not, but... It's not here. So my guess is either it woke up or it got killed. Either or. But what we need to do right now is that we need to go get hide. So I think that's the best thing we could do right now. Just go get some hide. Matter of fact, let's go get some freaking... Yeah, we need hide anyway. Because I was like, well, let's go get some a metal for flag. But we're going to need hide anyway. So let's go get some hide. Oh, no, no, no. Actually, let's get metal. Because while we're waiting for the metal to cook, we could go get some hide. Alright, so we want to go back up this way. Damn, dude, I can't believe that Tappy woke up. It had to have woken up. There's no way. Alright, guys. So, legit, this is like, you need to come to small tribes if you're small. Look, I've been farming for a man, and you guys know how good of a farmer I am. I've been farming for only a couple of, like, I don't know, hours or so, and I already have all this stuff going on. Let's build the crossbow. And then we're going to start making some trank darts. I do have already a Tappa J saddle, so that's going to be great. I'm cooking more metal right now. Trying to get some of that metal ingots going. I should craft a pike, honestly. What do I need for a pike? Oh, I think I have everything for a pike. What did I need? I don't know. We need a pike, though, because those spiders out here are rough. Can I make a metal hatchet? I can make a metal hatchet. Let's make a metal hatchet. Alright, good stuff. Alright, so now once we have this, let's craft the, the freaking trank darts and then we are going to go have to go find a tapage. Now, the thing about tappies that we need to know is that we need to make sure that we don't actually, um, we need bolas. We have two bolas. That should be more than enough that we need. I wish we had flowers. That way we could kite them towards us and then bola them. But we don't have flowers because we haven't been able to find beaver dams. What we do need is going to be killing some spiders in order to get a lot of meat. In order to tame that damn tappy. So I think that's what we're going to do next episode, honestly, guys. Because I've been, um, I don't want to make this episode too, too long. But you guys see it. I have, oh, speaking of spiders, they're outside. Okay. Come on, bitch, let's go. That's right, get at me. What level tappy is that? That's a level 20 and it's right outside our house. Okay, we should actually tame that. Got you, bitch. Let's go. I thought he was going to run away. I was like, bro, are you kidding me right now? There you go. Two tranks to the face and he is out. Out cold. Let's go. He's right next to the base. That's amazing. We get to tame him and keep an eye on him while we keep going back and forth, getting some metal. And he's going to tame out. So that's going to be awesome. Well, what is he? Is he a male? Is he a male? He is a male. All right, let's see. Can we see a female over there? I mean, do we see a female over there? Look at this. This is why I like being high up because there's, some, there's a fat level 5 female over there. Okay, good. What's his carry weight, honestly? Hold on. Because he's going to be the guy that helps us. Alright, that's 200 carry weight. That's not too bad. Did they nerf their carry weight? I thought they had like... I thought their carry weight started out at 400. Like the... I think they did nerf their carry weight. Fudge, bro. Alright, so maybe... Oh, it, it definitely is better than a freaking Pteranodon weight. So, that's something. We should at least get this low level tappy. And then we should try to find a high level tappy somewhere around here. Alright guys, but I think that's going to do it for this episode. We're just going to tame this Tappy. Hopefully next episode I'll show you guys what's going to happen. Hopefully we don't get raided. I mean, who am I kidding? I'm probably going to continue here grinding on the grind on the small tribe servers because there's nobody online right now. So this is the perfect time to try to get more than one shit shack up. Remember when you're solo player, you want to get multiple shit shacks. I would say make it out of stone and then eventually if you see that they're not getting hit, then you would just turn it into metal and then make sure that if you're going to turn it into metal, make sure you have color dye so you could paint the walls and stuff like that. So it blends in like if I was if that was metal, I would have painted it like green, like forest green. But other than that, I'll see you guys next time. Remember to like the video if you like it. Remember to subscribe if you haven't subscribed yet. Remember to hit that notification button to be notified whenever I post. I try to post Monday through Saturdays, well, Monday through Friday, Saturday, depending on how I'm feeling. 
I might start doing the tip Saturdays or like tip guys on Saturdays. Let's see. Maybe. Or maybe it'll just be a regular episode. But until next time, guys. Bye.